going back to uh, Road America. It's a terrific track. The Mazda goes well around there. You know, the coupe, the Lola coupe is very fast around there. Um, we, we've always had a good car out there, and uh, we've had good races. And, you know, I'm looking forward to going back. Uh, you know, we've, we've led. We came close to winning there the last couple of years, and uh, I hope this year things turn around. Well, it's a pretty good event for us, really. I mean, we were very fast in both practice and qualifying, and uh, we were running one and two um, for the majority of the race. But uh, we had some problems towards the end of the race, and the 16 car didn't finish, but the, the 20 car, as you say, was third in class. Um, it seems to be a circuit that suits the, the, the Mazda uh, engine and, and the Lola chassis, so um, it's probably one of our better circuits. So we're certainly looking forward to going back there this year, and hopefully we can uh, you know, put, uh, you know, put it right this year and hopefully win. I love Oak Heart Lake because I've been going out there since I was probably seven years old with my dad. So we've got a lot of family history out there. I mean, I can remember being a kid up on the hill and, and, and watching the cars breaking in the turn five. And it, it just, it's just for me, it's got a lot of sentimental value. Um, the track itself is pretty incredible. It's um, surprisingly technical. A lot of fast straights. Um, the car's got to be very good on braking and putting the power down. Um, so I think if you have a good car, Elkhart's a fantastic place to drive. Um, but it's, uh, it's definitely a lot more technical than people think. Um, I love it though, it's a great classic layout, hasn't changed since they opened it back in you know, the late 50s and uh, you know, you're in sports car racing, kind of the mecca of sports car racing out there. Well, I mean, it, it, it is. It's, it's, it's a relatively long circuit. Um, it's got some amazing corners, um, you know, the carousel, uh, the kink, um, in a lot of fast corners, um, you know, ups and downs, long straights. Um, so I think it's just, it's just, it's just got everything really. I think as drivers, we, we all like circuits that challenges, and uh, I think Road America is probably one of the most challenging circuits that we face. So uh, you know, whenever we get out there, we always have a lot of fun. Probably my favorite memory out there was uh, we, were, we were racing out there in 1987 and uh, Price Cobb and, and uh, we had a fellow named Johnny Dumfries who uh, had driven with Lotus the year before and later went on to win Le Mans. Um, and uh, he joined us for the weekend and, and uh, we needed to kind of win the race to stay in the championship. And uh, it was torrential, torrential rain. You remember these things when you're nine years old, soaked through the bone, lightning storms, you know, massive big clouds, you know, the race went red flag at one point, and, you know, when it was all said and done, you know, Dumfries on a restart just dropped the entire field, and the corner workers came up to us afterwards and said they had never seen anything like it. I, I think he was taking a lot of risks, but he really got away with it, and um, that win kept us in contention for the 87 title, which we just missed by a few points, and, uh, you know, for me being a kid, it was just fantastic, you know, you ride your bike around, you play on the hill. And um, your, your dad's car ends up winning the race that day, and uh, you know, it was a pretty special day. You, know, you don't, I want to say you take it for granted at the time, but looking back on it, it's a pretty special memory. Me personally, I have really loved driving out there, finished second out there a couple times. I'm still looking for my first win. It's hard to really say. I mean, you know, we, we had a good race there in 2006 with the, uh, with the, uh, the big Lola P1 car. Um, we were running kind of third and fourth for most of the race behind the, the works out is. Um, I believe that's where we finished. And uh, I know towards the end of the race, Butch was running in third, and uh, you know, he was pushing the Audis pretty hard, and, and I was kind of backing him up in fourth. So yeah, it was a lot of fun to take the challenge to the factory cars that day. Um, and uh, you know, as I said, just hoping that we can have some more success there uh, this coming year. at the magnificent Road America at Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. Uh, coming past the start finish, flying past her going uh, upwards of 185 miles an hour. On the brakes, down two gears. It'll be uh, maybe just down to fifth gear on low fuel. Out on the rumble strips, up to fifth down this hill. And uh, you'll be slowing down. You really have to put the binders on here. There's a late apex here. This is uh, fourth gear, third in traffic. Um, and then you've got another long straight here. Um, Try to use the minimum amount of steering as possible. Keep everything nice and smooth. Check your instrumentation. And then you go down here into the, what looks like a tunnel. This is the famous turn five. Breaking as late as possible. Watch, watch locking up the rears. Down to second gear. Again, a late apex here. Hard on the power on the exit. Third, fourth, up to the top of revs. Back down to third here. Again, a late apex here. You've got to watch it on the exit. And then this is, you're coming down here. This is what they call... Um, uh, which are the hurry downs, and uh, the hurry downs are very fast, up in the fifth gear, um, very, very late braking here, back down to third, use all the curb, and uh, we're going into the famous carousel here. This will be fourth, fifth, and qualifying it'll be flat in fifth, if you can imagine, 
and uh, very late apex. You can't get wide here because it really tightens up. Um, very busy in traffic. Six gear right about here, and this is uh, through the famous kink. Flat in sixth, 160 miles an hour. And then this is uh, kettle bottoms, approaching the famous Canada corner here. Now you're braking late, a lot of bumps on the braking. Gotta watch out you don't lock the rears up. Very tight corner here, down to third gear. Um, and then there used to be a bridge here, but it's blind now. You're still coming coming in here. Fifth gear, flat and fifth through here. It's amazingly quick. And then back down to fourth gear for the last corner, and a blast up the hill, and that's a lap of Elkhart Lake. And a minute and 55 seconds, or 50 seconds, goes by pretty quickly when you're going around this, this pace.